Ian. I'm J Star. Welcome to Spooky! Rules. What? Be in your Sioux team uniform. This includes your name badge. Two, make sure your hair is up. Good job. Thanks. Three, make sure you're not wearing any dangly jewelry or any jewelry on your hands. Four, do not wear strong scents or perfumes. Aww. Oh, I hate that. I'm just in the middle of my season shift and not on a break. Oh my god, nuh-uh. You wouldn't believe And it. finally, keep your cell phone off and away. Here we have a Madagascar hissing cockroach, um, and this is a choice spin. Uh, when you're interpreting, you want to guide the public to touch cockroaches that are only on this side, um, and then the ones on this side um, are, are there to rest. And if you're gonna bring up a cockroach um, to show the public, you want to keep them at about this level. Um, any higher, and it, it might be a problem that if they jump out, they might not land in the bin. Um, Signs of stress include uh, running around a lot, uh, hissing a lot when being touched, um, and uh, it can also be a sign of stress if they're all huddled up in one corner. It could be time to switch out the cockroaches. Um, also, uh, remember that when you're guiding the public to touch, that you want to use one finger gently down their back and only, once again, on this side. So just like that. Just really gently. Make sure the, the public doesn't press down on the um, on the cockroach either, as um, that might make the cockroaches jump and run around, which can also scare both the cockroach and the visitor. And um, remember, if you have any questions concerning um, the animals, whether it be um, a potential sign of stress or otherwise, um, you can always talk to a specialist or a staff member. So here we have an Australian walking stick. An animal specialist will always be here to put the walking stick on and off the perch for you. So your main responsibility is just going to be monitoring it and making sure it doesn't fall off or climb onto visitors. So the second thing, as with all animals on Interp, is that you're going to be looking out for signs of stress. And signs of stress for these guys include foaming at the mouth, uh, moving around and running a lot, or falling off the branch. So remember, if you have any questions about how to handle an animal or whether or not you're, what you're seeing is a sign of stress, just be sure to talk to an animal specialist, program animal staff, uh, or just any zoo team supervisor. Here we have oh. a, a giant African millipede. Um, the millipedes will not be on contact, so um, both you and the visitors will not be touching them. Only uh, They will only be on display. and. Um, Make sure you're wearing gloves if you decide to move the moss to give the public a better view. And this is because the, um, uh, the millipedes excrete a um, noxious yellow substance, which can be an irritant to skin. And as you can see, it'll be nice. And you can move the moss to give the public a better view of the um, millipedes. Signs of stress of millipedes include um, curling up into a ball um, and staying there for an extended period of time and also excreting the yellow substance. Uh, remember, if you have any questions about these animals, whether it be about the signs of stress that you may see or otherwise, you can always ask a um, animal specialist, um, a, a supervisor, or program animal staff. So here we have a Chilean rosehair tarantula in a lock display. Your role is to direct the public where to view the tarantula, since some will hide. You're also responsible for monitoring the stress signs of a tarantula, just like with any interb animal. Signs of stress for these guys include flicking hair off their abdomen with their back legs and also running around the enclosure a lot. Remember, if you have any questions, to contact an animal specialist, program animal staff, or just anyone who's supervising you at the moment. Let's have a great summer!